everybody. I'm Emily McMaster, the Communications Director for Granite State Ambassadors. And today, I'm very excited to be joined by Heidi Milbrand, who is the president of the New Hampshire Bed and Breakfast Association. So Heidi, thank you so much for joining us today. And let's thank start, you. of course, and let's start with uh, talking a little bit about what is the New Hampshire Bed and Breakfast Association? Sure, absolutely. The New Hampshire Bed and Breakfast Association consists of about 40 members statewide, and we all provide exceptional hospitality and service. Even though each bed and breakfast is unique, we all have to meet the same standards, such as we have a food service license. We each have our own meals and rental tax license. We also um, have to comply with all local, county, state, and federal regulations. Even though we're complying with all that, each bed and breakfast is unique in its own way. So what types of inns does the association represent? This is, this is where I, I'm gonna use the word traditional bed and breakfast because that's what we are. People still think, people think that we are Airbnbs and that is farthest from the truth. We are two separate entities. Traditional bed and breakfast, which is what we are, we represent those businesses out there, the ones that are serving the breakfast to the guests, the ones that are collecting the meals and rental taxes, the ones that are meeting all those state, local, federal regulations. The other thing that sets us apart is that we live on site. We are here for you. Whereas when you hear Airbnb, oh, that's what you must be. We are not. We are here on site for you. Airbnb people tend to just, here's the key, have at it. We also provide sort of a concierge service. I'm, I'm here for you. Where do you want to go? What do you want to see? You want a reservation? I'll call for you. So we really are your, your personal tour guide for that area the entire time you're here. And we also, since we live here, we live in our house, we live at the bed and breakfast, we live in the area, most of us are very active within the area. And that helps us send you places, get you where you're going. And we know the people. Like I'm, I know most of the restaurants in the area. So I can pick up the phone and go, hey, this is Heidi from Pleasant View B&B. I have two people. Can you set me up? And they'll go out of their way to help my guests feel more at home at the restaurant for sure. Of course. And so you say you're, you're talking about the areas that you're in. So what are some of the areas that the bed and breakfast are located in our state? We are located all over the state. So the state has seven regions. There's only one region we're not represented, and that's the Great North area, Great North Woods area. We're working on that. But typically, the, the, with the 40 of us, we're all throughout the six, six other regions. There's a bunch here in the Lakes region. We have quite a few over in the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee area, down in the Monadnock region. I mean, we're, we're everywhere. And unfortunately, it seems that our group is getting smaller and smaller, which is good and bad. If you want to come to the bed and breakfast, you're going to get a service that rivals, like, say, the Marriott or a Holiday Inn. You're going to get that personal service, which is what we're striving for which is good that we're getting smaller because now you're finding that service to be a little more harder to find. And it's a little more special when you do find it in one of those regions. Absolutely. And so you've touched upon these services a little bit, but could you just summarize what would, what would you expect to get for services when you stay at bed and breakfast? The big thing is you get that personal service. Again, I, we are here for you. I'm going to do everything that I can to make your stay fun, safe, exciting, memorable. So you're going to get that personal service, that personal greeting above all else. And I know I get this in a lot of my, in a lot of my reviews is cleanliness. I mean, we are clean when you walk in here. Um, even though I have a lab that likes to wander through here every now and then, I'm always cleaning up the black dog hair. Um, but it's a given free Wi-Fi is throughout the end. You're always going to get a fresh homemade breakfast. The majority of our foods are made from scratch. I know, speaking for myself and a lot of the innkeepers, there's always a fresh muffin or scone at the breakfast table. Uh, I always have fresh fruit. You're going to get something made from scratch. You're not getting that Danish in a cell phone, in a cell phone wrapper. 
um, a cellophane wrapper. It, everything is fresh, it's made fresh. You're going to have private baths. A lot of places still have baths that are shared. I mentioned concierge service. I'm here for you. What do you want? I'm gonna, you wanna go here, you wanna go there. And you never know, I might be able to work something free out for you. Um, we're your tour guide. Uh, I get a lot of outdoor people where I am. I'm near Newfound Lake and Mount Cardigan. So where can we go hike? Where can we go rent a boat? And which is nice because I've done the majority of hikes around the area. I have my own boat. I've been on the lake. I can tell you where to sneak in. You maybe find some good fishing spots. Um, some of the, depending on where you stay, some bed and breakfast have pools. I have a pool here. Some bed and breakfast have hot tubs. I have a hot tub here. Uh, some have in house, some have on site restaurants. Some have on site brew pubs. So you're going to sort of get the whole package when you come here. I know a lot of time guests stay here. They're like, we don't want to go anywhere. Well, you don't have to sit on the porch all day long. I, you know, I'll bring you drinks. It's not a problem. <laughs> and the other big thing that bed and breakfast have as a service that people sort of look for is that privacy. You're going to be private here. Even though we live on site, I'm letting you alone. You, you have my cell phone to reach me if you're burning down the place or the toilets overflowing or whatever, but I'm not, I'm not overlooking you. I'm not overseeing you. You know where I am. If you need me, reach me. I'm here to make your breakfast fresh. I'm here to make sure your bed is made and I'm going to leave you alone the rest of the day. You call me if you need something. Absolutely. That's great. It just sounds like a wonderful experience. Makes it me is. want to try it, out some of those. It is. And I think, I think more and more people need to get back to those roots and start staying at bed and breakfast to realize that those experiences are still out here for people. Absolutely. Of course. And so as an association, you represent the members of the bed and breakfast. So tell us, how does that work? What do you, what services do you offer your bed and breakfast as part of your association? Our, our big thing is networking. We want, we, we have two meetings a year, general memberships meetings a meet two general membership meetings a year. And it's a chance for the innkeepers to get together, to network, to talk about, you know, what's working for you. Uh, we even share some, you know, guest stories. <laughs> uh, but it's really a huge networking. We also represent you at the state level. I know next week I'm going down to the, cat, to the legislative office building to testify against a state bill. So you're going to get a statewide voice that we're going to represent you at statewide levels. And we also do statewide advertising. For example, uh, we've done ads in Yankee Magazine. We have a website that's present on the, on the internet. So we do a lot for our members to help get the word out there. Uh, I know one of the things that we're doing next week is we're going to be represented at the New Hampshire uh, Made Expo. So we're going to go there and a ton of people go through there. So this is a great place to come and meet. We're going to have real innkeepers there. So you get to meet us in person, ask us any question. And we're also going to be doing a drawing for a $200 gift certificate toward a stay at a bed and breakfast in our membership. Great. We will see you there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And how does that work in terms of how does the association benefit guests of the bed and breakfasts? Oh, that's a tough one. I, I think, well, I know, I think, how can I, how do I want to say this? I know when somebody stays here and they're like, Hey, we're going to, we're going over to Lake Sunapee. I can pick up the phone and call any of my member B and B's and say, Hey, uh, Emily's coming over. Do you have any rooms, you know, any rooms available for these, these days? So again, it goes back to that networking. I can pick up the phone, call any member. Where are you going? Who do you want to see? That's one of the, the biggest perks that we have being a member is that I can start referring you around. I'm not referring you to the Holiday Inn or I'm not referring you to, you know, the no tell motel or whatever. I'm going to refer you to a member of the association for sure. Absolutely. And now you have partnerships with all of these bed and breakfasts. Do you have yep. any other partnerships with other local businesses or organizations? Yep. We have, we work with the Audubon Society. So we have a partnership with them. We have a partnership with Canterbury Shaker Village. We have a partnership with the New, uh, New Hampshire Lodging and Restaurant Association. And 
we have a partnership with you, the GSA. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we, and we do, we, we rely on you. I mean, you guys are out there. You're the face of New Hampshire. You're, they're going to see you quicker than they're going to see me. And hopefully when people show up to the, like the, the uh, information booth at the airport, you can say, Hey, here's a list of it. bed and breakfast. You can go and stay at. I mean, so we do, we do rely on, on these organizations to help us out. And we do help them by sending people their way too. Of course. Now, are there any projects that you're working on that you would like to mention to us? Well, besides the New Hampshire Expo, we're actually working on obtaining more members. So we're right now updating our list. We're going through updating the list. And actually starting next week, I'm going to get out and start greeting my meeting, meeting and greeting potential members. Hey, hi, it's Heidi. Here I am. Here's what we can do for you. We'd love to have you as a member. And the same goes with the more voices we have in our association, the better off we're going to be when it comes to being represented at, with issues that affect our industry. The other thing that's happening with a local, now there's in the state, there's like little subgroups of bed and breakfast. Like we have the Lake Sunapee Bed and Breakfast Association. There's the Monadnock uh, Lodging Association. I'm in the Lakes Region Bed and Breakfast Association. And there's one in the White Mountain. But the Lakes Region Bed and Breakfast Association is doing their annual spring tour of bed and breakfast, April 23rd and 24th, where we open up our doors, you tour around, you take the day and tour around. It's gonna, it's gonna be a beautiful spring weekend. And it gives you a chance to get into bed and breakfast. And if you've never seen one, if you're still hesitant about being in one, or if you still might have that, that well, you know, they're just, their grandma's homes filled with doilies type of thing. You're going to be pleasantly surprised when you get into these bed and breakfasts and see, oh my gosh, look at all this. They have flat, flat screen TVs. They have Wi-Fi. They have pools. You know, they have a hot tub, that sort of thing. So that's a chance to get out. And it's a project that we're helping push for the Lakes Region B&B to get people out to, to see these, the area bed and breakfast. Absolutely. Great. Well, this has been very informative and um, we always love learning more about the different bed and breakfasts and no. association. Yeah. So no. No, I was going to say, we're, we're glad that we can do this. I, and I, I still think it's a matter of, of educating people to let them know that we're still out here, that we're still very viable lodging for individuals, and that we are, we're, I mean, innkeeping has been around since Jesus' birth. I mean, what, it's, we're in the Bible. I mean, come on, <laughs> let's take a look at that. So we, we, we are one of the oldest professions in the world. I mean, so we've been around for a long time. We know what we're doing. Personally, I've been in the business over 20 years. So it's, I mean, I, I nap a lot. I mean, because I'm tired, <laughs> but I mean, you, you get that longevity in this profession because it's, you have to enjoy what you're doing. And this is such a fun fun job for me. I mean, I, I love where I live. I love what I do for a living. I love to cook, you know, and the people that come here are what, are what makes us innkeepers. I mean, then we're here for the people. We want you here. And people usually stay at inns for two reasons. They stay for the innkeeper or they stay because they love the building that the, that the inn is in. Hopefully we're People stay for both reasons. They love the innkeeper and the inn. But we want to make sure that when you stay here, that you come back, that you're like, that was such a great time. I want to come back. I want to stay there. She really made me at home. You know, I, I mean, when I get repeat guests, they're like, can you make me this? Can you make me that? Or, hey, we went here. Can you work something out? We, we want those people coming back. And we don't want to lose those people. We want them to have a great time while they're here with us. Absolutely. Of course. Well, thank you so much. We're excited to promote the association and share this with our GSAs. So thank you for taking the time to meet with us today. Well, thank you, Emily. I appreciate it. And, and I'll, I'll end by saying that if any of your GSAs have any questions about anything or they want to see a bed and breakfast, just pick up the phone, give me a call. Or if they know someone in their area, pick up the phone, call them. They'll be more than happy to bring you into the place and let you see what's happening in our little world of Indian for sure. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thanks, Emily. Have a great day.